so good day guys and welcome to my youtube channel in my last video tutorial i talk about how to group data in columns or rows so today we are moving into how to print a large set of data one of the biggest challenges i see people run into printing documents within an is they're trying to get stuff fixed on a single page or trying to get into break in an Excel document appropriately or where it should as it goes from page for page and various other things that really deals with print just to get it ready and presentable well i'm going to show you a few features here that will help you manage large set of data as you are going to print as you are going to print it let's take a look all right Open in front of me here, I have got an example file here and I'm on the sales record worksheet down below. Now I'm going to make a couple of a couple of quick little adjustments here on this sales record worksheet. Alright, if I go to print this sales record worksheet report, there are things that I am noticing right away. Like I can see that some kind of cut off pages right here. I know that that is an issue right there. So I need to just try to make that cut off fit within the words, within the column before I can print it. All right. Now let's take a look at what this document look like if I were to print it right now. Okay. Let's go to file. All right now i'm on the, the file page now click on print let's click on print now here is my document so it looked like much you can see i have about 426 pages of content inside the world inside this document so on the very first page i have got my headers here I got my column, which is I got my column headers, but it looked like I'm cutting off, cutting off a couple of columns right here on the header. I think we also had uh, had other numbers, which are supposed to be what to be follow suit alongside with these pages, and that was, and I can see something breaking across across the pages now let's go ahead and go to page two let's go ahead and go to page two okay here's my page two do you know what um do you know what i'm looking at here if i go back to page one look at if i go back to page one i've got got top portion of like the top portion of my column header then now and i have got about let's say about 20 almost 23 and uh, content on these pages okay but remember i am missing couple of couple of columns here couple of couple of column here of the right right to the co complete this record here so when i go to page two here i should expect to see the continuation of those expect the continuation continuation of those record for continuation of this record but instead i am seeing record that are down below the page one then now and at the top of this i can't I, the, I, there is no header over there so i don't see region i don't see country i don't see type item type and so on there so they are missing so i need to make a couple of adjustments here i need to make sure that the i need to make sure that the header stay put and i always there and when i go to page two i should see the continuation of the page on the record before i get into a whole, a whole set of what the record this is helping course because we got a large set of data that is spanning multiple pages and height and multiple pages and what width all right so i'm going to go back to my excel interpret by clicking on this back arrow here good so first i'm going to get my column header here to repeat every page 
that is the column headers to, to show up on every page every page here so now to, to fix these i'm going to go up go to the page layout tab which is i'm um, already here at the top of my screen so we have also got a, a section called page setup right here you can see and in there you, we also have an option called print title so i'll give it a click give it a click so good so i got two options there you wish her row to repeat at the top and column to repeat what at the left well i don't need column to repeat but i do want to repeat the rows i do want to repeat so i mainly look into the row section and i'm going to select the row number four here i'm going to select the row number four here good now that is this so i will now i'll click on okay good that is it so let's see what this look like so so i'm going to go back to uh, go back to my print preview all right so i'm going to go back to my preview. so then, so then now, let's now see the what is going to happen so here's my sprint preview so there is here is a, here's a page one so we are, I have my header at the top along at the, alongside uh, we have my header there and uh, alongside with the top so i'll go to page two and uh, i see have that there so my page three so my header also there and so on and so forth on every on every page but you know what i'm still having issues here the records are incomplete so i should still have a couple of columns up to the right here and when i go to the next page i should see the continuation of page one mm, but you know what it is not there until i go to the last page of it so that is when i can see the continuation of what of page one record so and that doesn't make a lot of sense so if you find yourself in this scenario as a beginner you are going to print this out and then have to you have to reshuffle the pages and then your pages number won't be off inside your footer so that doesn't make a lot of sense so now i need to change this and i need to change the order that i am printing this document so now take a look let me show you what is happening here so firstly so let me go back to my my interface here so firstly i'm going to change my view for a moment to show you what is actually happening here so i'm going to go to my view tab right at the top here and i'm going to change this to page break preview here good now so you could see it there that this is this this is first set of data right here is consider page one then see the kind of light you can see the kind of light grid here written as what page one if you scroll down you see page two you can see there's another page there so page three so and so on and so forth but if i scroll back up right if i scroll back up page one content bleeds into what into a page over here and it is really small but over here you see i can see page two two four on the grid line light grid here so now that is which is not right down here but you know what the way the document is going to print is as as it's where is that it's going to start from the top down and then back up and then the kind of just like kind of a zigzag approach like a back backward in top down and then back and to the top and then diagonally and then down so what i want what i wanted to do is going from page one here right from going from page one here now then 
to the next in front of me which is what page which is page 224 which i'm expected to go to to be the continuation of what the page one so this should be page one so this should be what page two so this should be what page three and this should be what page four and so on and so for this should this is how it's uh, supposed to look like so take a look as i am going to go back to my layout tab here big layout tab so i'm going to go back to my big layout and, and i'm going to go back into that print title section here and the reason why i'm clicking on the print title section is that it will open up the page subtop window on this sheet tab right so down at the bottom hmm, we got a page holder hmm? so right here on the on the first option here on the first option here so that is down the then over is going to is going to go down here it's going to go down here then if you want to print if you go to go down here then come back up then go down then come back just like a going up down up down but i don't need to print it in that order so so what i'm going to going to i'm um, so i'm going to change it to over then which is what over then down here it's just like a z motion right which is what's going to be print page one page two page three and page four and so on and so forth so a couple of so if you click on it so let me just give it a click by clicking on ok now now let me now go back to my words the print preview so let's now look at how it's going to print out you can see page one so this is my continuation of what page one then which is on page two then page three four five and so on and so forth so so a couple of simple fix here is, is for large set of data that you can use to repeat the column headers all right so just get those headers to repeat on every page that way you have them and people can use them to identify the data also think about your page order if your page order breaks and aren't happening in the correct order then go back into the build the page setup here go back to the page setup right here where then you and change the order of your pages to print a large set of data with this simple fix to manage large document within an exam just try it out bye and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as i'll keep giving you more of the exam function thank you